Art Together is about children and their families making their own art and sharing their work together. Projects in Art Together are inspired by pieces from the Zimmerly Art Museum's current exhibitions. I created today's project with the Mood Books exhibition in mind. Let's look at the images closely. What do you notice first? How does the weather in the pictures make you feel? What I find special in these illustrations is how Devoisin plays with abstract shapes and color. If you look carefully enough, autumn leaves turn back into blobs of yellow and red, or patches of brown squiggles transform into the shadow of a doorway. In the spirit of Devoisin's illustrations, we're gonna make abstracted landscapes that use weather and emotion to convey an overall feeling or mood. For materials, you will need two sheets of paper and maybe a third as an extra scratch paper. You'll want something to draw with. Here, I have my pencil. And you'll also want something to color with. You can use markers, colored pencils, or whatever you have lying around the house. For me, I'm gonna use my big box of crayons. Before we dive into making our landscapes, let's start with a warm up to get us thinking about how we might draw emotion and feeling. First, I'm gonna grab a sheet of paper and fold it into eight sections. To do that, I'll fold the paper in half then half again, and once more. In each section, I'm gonna try and use lines and shapes to show different emotions. What might a calm line look like? Maybe it's light and soft and flowing like water on the surface of a gentle lake. How might an angry shape look like? Maybe it's bold and sharp like the lines are shouting with bolts of lightning. How might you draw these emotions differently? Is there one that represents how you're feeling right now? Maybe you could have someone guess which emotion goes with each drawing. Look at your warm up. Is there an emotion that you showed really well? When we draw our abstract landscape, it might be helpful to look at our warm up to see all the different lines and shapes that we might want to include. It might also be helpful to use our imaginations. I might think of a strong breeze flowing through happy trees on a bright summer's day. How does the landscape make you feel? I'm going to be making my own drawing and I can't wait to see how differently yours turns out. First, with a marker, I'm going to draw some lines to show the movement of the wind. Next, I'm going to carefully choose the colors that might show the feeling that I'm going for. I want something a little bit more calm. Maybe I'd start with a blue. I wonder what other colors could I use? What colors are you using for your drawing? When I am ready, I'll take my time to clear the space and reflect on what I've made. I try to remember to be kind to my own artistic practice. Sometimes I'll make a mistake 
or it won't quite be what I imagined. But there's beauty in that too. I encourage you to look carefully at your own work and share it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you join us for another Art Together.